Welcome to video 9, the first video in the weather and climate series. In the next three videos, we'll be discussing the weather and climate, which is the second of six sectors used by researchers to determine the health in the Battle River watershed study area. This video will focus on the first measure used in the weather and climate sector, climate-related health impacts. Researchers used two indicators, increase in heat-related illnesses such as edema and heat stroke, and the prevalence of chronic illness or conditions such as allergies and asthma. The first indicator researchers used was heat-related illness, heat stroke, heat exhaustion, and heat edema. Heat stroke and exhaustion are the result of excessive fluid loss due to exposures to hot temperatures and in some cases can be fatal. Heat edema is swelling caused by excess fluid in the body's tissues and can be more severe on hot days. Alberta Health Services collects information on heat-related illness incidents so we have a good indication of the level in the communities. These illnesses intersect with social determinants of health as certain groups of people are disproportionately affected. Rural residents who tend to spend more time working outdoors in agriculture or oil and gas and older people are at greater risk. There may be other risk factors for heat-related illness including age, socioeconomic status, those with other chronic illnesses or those that are unhoused. An increase in heat-related illness impacts the overall health of a community. The first map researchers created shows heat-related illness data from 2019. The prevalence of excessive heat weather injuries in the Battle River watershed and surrounding areas fall in the 10 to 12 percent range. The Alberta average is at 9.5 percent, indicating that the study area is slightly above the provincial average. Next few maps show the prevalence of heat-related illness for male and female populations in the Battle River watershed study area. Males in the central region exhibit a higher prevalence rate of excessive heat weather injuries falling mostly in the 14 to 16 percent range while the female prevalence rate falls in the 6 to 8 percent range. With seasonal fluctuation, heat-related illnesses are more prevalent during the summer. Warmer temperatures along with occupational risk, such as the greater prevalence of farmers in this region, may account for the heat-related illness in central Alberta. And as you move further south in Alberta, there's an increased prevalence rate of heat-related illness due to the higher temperatures. According to Alberta Health, the average rate of excessive heat weather injuries from the male population is higher than the provincial average while the heat related injuries for females was consistent with the Alberta average.